Hey, good morning everyone. This is Susan with the Envision Group and it's time for our Monday morning drift. If you don't like Mondays, we get it. That's why I wanted to go get local and tell you about some fabulous people in our community who love Waco. And we're starting today. We're on Austin Avenue. Austin Avenue, good morning. We're here at the Pinewoods in the parking lot and we have a fantastic vendor that we want you to meet and greet. Her name is Shamika. She is the waffle chick of Waco. And we're just gonna do an impromptu interview today with her. Find out, I love her smile. I love the smell of the waffles and tell you why you should be coming to see her at her business. So, good morning, Shamika. How are you? I'm doing great, my friend. Oh, good. I do not know how you Stay cool in this most adorable food truck, but this is her food truck. It, I feel like I can hug it because it's so awesome. And she's awesome. She's so super awesome. And so I just wanted to give you an opportunity to meet her, ask her a couple questions. You're good with that? Yes. So why Waco and how did you get started? Oh, why well, Waco? Uh, Waco is a wonderful environment for uh, community. And everyone here uh, has the uh, willpower to help each other and build together. And that's where I love community empowerment. Uh, three are my uh, mission words for my business. And with that being said, I chose Waco. I grew up here in Waco. Perfect. Um, I went to Lake Air Middle School. I graduated from Waco High School. Class of 96, go Lions. Woo! But uh, I really um, wanted to build the community here because it's so so powerful and it's needed here yeah. and so I chose my business to be here because I love the environment and the people and I got started um, with my business um, through the JSL program that's through the Jesus at Love program awesome. and even though um, I went through that program I'm gonna go back a little bit um, I used to work for this wonderful lady by the name of Courtney Rogers through uh, Hotel Craze and so in that environment, she taught me about business. Even though my mom had her own business, it just multiplied when I started working in the Magnolia. It was such a positive, loving environment. And so I wanted to um, really feel strong to build my own business one day. And so that's the beginning of how I got started through the Jesus and Love program. That's amazing. And that really leads perfectly into my next question for you, which is where do you see your business going? Well, uh, God asks that question all yes, the time. Yes, you know? he does. <laughs> uh, but my vision, what he's giving me, the word that he's giving me is to get into a bigger food truck. Right awesome. now, my need is for a bigger food truck and with his will, that will make it happen. Uh, that, will be, that will be happening. And so, um, and I see that happening before the end of this year, before the end of the year. I feel like I want to have at least three food trucks in three different locations here in Waco. And then the three five year plan would be to have a brick and mortar here. Fantastic. I, I give myself, a, well, I didn't give myself, the Lord gave me slow and steady. Yeah. And patience will win the race. Sure. And so that's why I'm going slow and steady right now because that's His word. So I have to abide by that. Well, based on the amount of folks who like your business page, I don't see that being a problem for you in the future. We know God takes care of all of that. But I want to know, because we're going to order. Kyle is actually behind the camera this morning. Morning, Kyle. We're going to order what your number one item is on the menu today. So can you tell me what we need to order before we leave? So I always recommend the classic chick. Even though that's the most popular item, yeah. uh, the hot honey and the split decision is giving that classic chip one for its money. And that's because the hot honey has the, the honey sauce and it has a little kick to it. Oh, I love it. And then in addition to that, when everyone comes up to the truck and then they see two different items that they like, I'm like, oh, I don't know which one to decide. So, hey, might as well get the split decision. You get okay. the best of both worlds in that. Well, I think that's probably what we're going to order. What do you think, Kyle? I think so. Sounds good? Good. Very good. So, my last question for you, and I have to, it was a long one, so tell us something that we should know about you and your business. Well, something you should know about me, and I'm, work, I'm working on this because I've always considered others, and I think about others before I think about myself. And so... With that, something I would like for you to know about me that a lot of people don't know is that um, 
they probably already do know that I am a loving person. I always smile and I always speak. Um, I feel like I'm blessing the next person with making sure I say hello because you don't get that a lot lately here, especially people just walk past, walk past. And so with that, I'm, I'm very, um, that is such an awesome question. <laughs> but um, I feel like I'm a just good all around person. Um, I don't ever think about myself. I always think about others. And um, something I really want to know. When you come to walk with chick, it's all about family. It's all about unity. I want you to feel like you're part of my family. We do. We do. Yeah. Sure. Well, thank you. I want you to feel like this is just like your own mom's kitchen. And uh, I do also, too. I'm a gamer. A lot of people don't know that. But <laughs> I am a true diehard gamer. And I do love that. And I just love coming up with new recipes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Now, you have, I saw on your Facebook page, is brunch box? Yes. And so those will be coming in September. Okay. It's um, a little brunch box that I have the chicken and waffles and food in them. And then also a sweet one. Um, with just nothing but sweets with chunks and things like that. For people to take to go, they can order those on Friday. I get them ready by Saturday. Perfect. And then they can go on Sundays for Sunday lunches. Well, that's perfect to me, Shamika, because those brunch boxes is going to be our next giveaway in September. We are buying brunch for four here with Shamika at the Waffle Chick of Waco. And you can click on the logo below in this email to register today. Drawing will be September 17th. So I hope you have those brunch boxes ready. Yes. If you don't, no matter what, come by, see this amazing woman and uh, give her some love on this fantastic business. Have a great day. Thanks for watching The Drip and we'll see you next week.